Well, when we uh, had discussion on uh, some of the things we wanted to do for our 40th anniversary, uh, the idea of a mu musical came out. And uh, we thought that it would be good because 40 years is a long time. And the background, the circumstances behind the birth of the star back in 1971, uh, right up to 40 years now, uh, I think a lot of things have happened. And um, we thought that the best way of capturing all these moments was through a musical, through entertainment. When we thought about a musical, uh, the first idea was, wow, well, we did Mamma Mia a few years ago, um, but the cost was just too, uh, you know, too, too high. And, uh, and we decided that, no, no we, we don't want that to spend that kind of money. Why don't we do a, a local production? And that's how Dharma came to the picture. Uh, and we thought that, you know, Dharma is a very popular uh, uh, musical group, you know, and they've got a great following. Uh, we decided that let's do a local production. And um, later, as we progress, apart from, from Dharma, we decided to invite other local artists as well. As you can see, there'll be a, a few guest artists. The idea is that uh, let's do it locally in support of also uh, the local performing arts. The concept was to have a musical where we capture, you know, um, a bit of the history of the star and the history of the country uh, and, and, and telling it to the songs, through the songs that, that Malaysians uh, listened to and, and, and enjoyed uh, uh, during, that, during those 40 years. Because if I, I think music songs are very much tied to things that happened during those those periods. Then I I remember I said, Hey, do you remember that Patrick Teo hosted a music a music show, a radio show uh, called the Cool and Swinging Show back in 71, 72, in the early 70s, and uh, it was a very very popular show. You know, so it would make a good I idea to have Patrick as part of the musical uh, because we're going to tell the tell the story to a, a radio show and then I said I remember the theme song or the jingle or you know what you call it, the theme song for the show was called uh, I like to teach the world to sing in perfect harmony it was by Sikas and that was how the idea of in perfect harmony came about because we thought that would be quite appropriate for the songs as well as for the message uh, we want to send out that you know we should all be uh, living in perfect harmony, singing in perfect harmony, working in perf perfect harmony. I think that the challenge of making this musical is to try uh, is to capture so many things that happened in the 40 years. Uh, in 40 years, so many hit songs, right? Uh, and all of us have our own favorite songs from over the 40 years. And then also so many things happened uh, in the country, uh, around the world, and, and also happened within the star in that 40 years. So how do you tell that story, and how, or how you do you capture all those things in, three, in a three-hour musical? I think that was a challenge, uh, especially to Dharma because they have to do the production. As the people who are paying for the production, we also, of course, have our own views about the script, uh, the songs, you know. But at the end of the day, we accept that, that um, the people who are doing the production, Dharma, I think they know best. We would like to have a bit more engagement um, because as uh, the days where a newspaper just report the news, right, and that's it, our job is done, is actually over. And uh, news newspapers, media company, need to engage more actively with with their readers, with the people that they cover. Uh, and uh, you can only do that by by getting a direct involvement rather than indirect involvement. We will not do it on our own. We we'll probably do it in collaboration with our partners. Like in Perfect Harmony, for instance, we've got SP Satir, uh, which has come in, and we've also got UOB Bank, which has come in to support us.
uh, but because we are media, we're able to initiate some of these things, you know, uh, to bring in other partners to support. Uh, and I think that that's, that's probably what you'll see uh, more of going forward in partnership with other people. I think it's good for, it's also a sign that corporate Malaysia as a whole uh, is supporting. Not everyone can do it on our own, but we perhaps can do it together. Uh, at the end of the day, it is, uh, it's actually the result, the outcome that matters more than who is driving it and who is not driving it, you know, because it's, it's ultimately if, if the local performing arts scene uh, gets good support from the corporate sector, that's all that matters. Yeah.